What's up, YouTube, and welcome to episode 12 of my Pokemon Fire Red and Nuzlocke Challenge. I'm Insane Dragon HD, and I'm going to talk about a few things here. So, I found out about this anime called Air Gear a while ago. Um, Air Gear is a pretty interesting anime, although it is weird, and it does feature some weird moments. Uh, um, kind of weird. Obviously, it's really weird. Now... I need now I've been thinking about now obviously I've been doing something lately I've been making icons for people I hope you guys and um, if you guys want an icon um just PM me but I only accept um, one request at a time uh, you guys can request uh, after I'm already finished with Dukas 44's icon he never actually Although, although I don't think he's used it yet, but I made him an icon. It wasn't the best, but obviously I'm using paint and I'm not very good at making icons. I don't want to use Photoshop. I'm not going to use Photoshop. Photoshop is just too hard to use. I don't like Photoshop. It's just confusing. Photoshop is way too confusing for my tastes. I tried to learn how to use it and there was so much stuff to do. I didn't even have a hint, clue on how to even do anything. Now paint.net is a lot better for that because yeah but paint.net makes the picture clear. I don't know how to make, I don't know how to do like the merge layer down and all that other stuff. <coughs> <coughs> My voice is like all messed up today. So yeah now we're going to capture our partner Meowth, a uh, new Pokemon. This is where we capture Meowth. I'm going to talk about something else for a while. So yeah, obviously I don't. Obviously, um, I I don't like the weather at all. I've been I know I've been complaining about the weather for like two episodes, but it's pretty bad. I I heard some tropical storm was supposed to come through here and basically just make it rain forever, make it windy, make the weather gloomy and depressing. I really don't know. It's not really depressing now, but it's depressing in school when it's raining and you are. And you are sitting in a classroom learning, and it, the gloom and the gloomy mood just adds to the boredom of the room. And next year, I'm pretty sure it'll be even more boring when it's raining, and I'm in uh, AP World History, and I'm sitting there being all bored and stuff. Gotcha. Meowth was caught, so he caught Meowth. I'm not going to train the Meowth in case you're wondering, because yeah, I don't really like Meowth all that much. Meowth may be a favorite for a lot of people, but I just personally, I don't even like Meowth at all. It's not a very good normal type. I prefer Kangaskhan because Kangaskhan is better defensive wise. And plus Kangaskhan is obviously the original Pokemon tank and I like it a lot better. Now Kangaskhan can take a lot of hits. Meowth on the other hand, Meowth on the other hand can't. And we're going to heal here. Now that lady next to the Pokemon Center does serve a purpose, but we're not going to talk to her yet. Um, but for now, we're just going to go do some things in, around Vermilion City. Which of the first, we are going to capture a, a Diglett. Because Diglett is a good Pokemon. So as a first, we're going to capture a Diglett. And Diglett's Cave is the perfect place to capture them. This place has Diglett's which we will need for the third gem since the third gem is an electric type gem and we have a water type and a bug and flying type that's not really going to work so we're going to attempt to throw the pokeball first <sighs> i know it's kind of stupid to throw a pokeball at a level 19 pokemon but sometimes it does work i have caught one time i got lucky when i was playing <clears throat> When I was playing red and blue a year ago, I about two three years ago, I caught a Zapdos with a with a great ball without even hurting it. It was level 50. That's probably gotta be the rarest thing I ever did. And I was, of course, I captured Mewtwo with a Master Ball. Yeah, because I'm lazy and I really don't want to waste time trying to capture Mewtwo. And I actually found out the second second run through the game that. If you put Mewtwo, I think if you paralyze him, it's a lot easier to capture him than if you put him to sleep. Because if you put him to sleep, he resists more. I don't know. Yeah, obviously Mewtwo has no gender, but I assume it's a he. 
as I assume Mew is, uh, is a he too. Because, yeah, they both look like Pokemon that, have, that are he's. Just like I assume that all Starmies have a gender. It, no, I assume every Pokemon has a gender. Like, I assume Reshiram is female. And I assume Zekrom is male, even though they have no gender at all. And, obviously, I think Starmie and Staryu are, like, the only Pokemon that are normal. That <coughs> <coughs> Sorry for that. It's just my voice is acting up today. So, yeah, this is about the only time you're going to see me shop smart at the Pokemon Center. Which is not spending all my money on Super Potions, but I do spend a majority of my money on Super Potions. Um, because, yeah, I love Super Potions. I love to stock up on Potions. I don't know why. It's always why in every Pokemon game I have an abundance of Potions. And it helps to have an abundance of Potions, but it helps to have an abundance of every item. I'm just lucky I'm not doing the Nuzlocke where you're not allowed to buy any items and you're not allowed to use any items outside of battle, because that would suck. That would suck because, yeah, I would do terrible at the gym battle. Uh, and obviously, yeah, I would. One, one heal at a Pokemon Center. Obviously, Pimp's regulation, it does make it tougher, but obviously not very much due to the fact he's allowed to use items. If he, if he was doing it with the fact he was not allowed to use items, it would be a lot harder and it would be a lot more difficult to train. Obviously, he's on episode 11 of his Nuzlocke. I'm a bit, I'm a bit further in my Nuzlocke. I don't even think he's got to the second gym in uh, Platinum yet. So this gym is a cut. It's a cut only. It's cut only. So yeah, it kind of sucks. That's the only gym where you don't actually get to where you need an HM to access it. None of the other gyms in the games. In the game, any, I think any of the other games have a, have something you have to do. So we're gonna go up and talk to this man. He's going to give us an item after he's done talk to him. So he chairs Pokemon fan club. He raises a hundred Pokemon. That's really difficult to raise. I mean, how could you raise a hundred Pokemon? That's very difficult. So basically, he's gonna talk about his Rapidash and how it's cute, lovely, and smart and amazing. Now, obviously, I think it's now obviously I think it's pretty funny that he that he he, he rambles on, and doesn't even doesn't even say full sentences, and he acts like he wasted your time. When really he only talked to you for like a minute. So we get a bike voucher from the chairman. Take that bike voucher to the bike shop in Cerulean City. Exchange that for a bicycle free of charge. Don't worry, my favorite ferret will find me anywhere I need to go. So I have no need for a bicycle. I hope you like cycling. So this man um, wishes us to like cycling, which now we're going to trek all the way back to Cerulean City to get our bike voucher. That's basically what we do, is uh, trek our way back. So if you guys would like to change, um, now obviously as I said, um, I would like you guys to uh, comment if you want um, Either comment or send me a PM if you want a a icon. Obviously, I will not make BGs because I'm not very. I don't even know. I'm not very good at BGs. I probably would make a crappy BG for you, and you would get mad at me because of the crappy background. So yeah, I'm not gonna make any backgrounds. I'm only gonna make uh, icons. I'll try to make you the best icon I can. Now I tried to use Paint.net. Uh, but obviously I couldn't figure out how to make the picture with the actual uh, layer so yeah I don't know what to do I'm not very good at painting I'm not very good at editing programs I just don't really don't like them all that much I don't use photo editing programs photo editing programs are like the most confusing things to use so yeah in here you get a man and he's gonna give you the bike Obviously, I don't like how in the Pokemon games they purposely make the bike way too expensive so you can't buy it, but I think in Pokemon uh, Black and White you can get over 999,000 Pokey. I'm not sure, but I will test that, and then obviously, I've obviously never tested that. Although my Black team consists of some pretty, ter some pretty uh, tough Pokemon, very tough. 
Um, obviously, I have like I have like one Pokemon. Also, I have I think I have like a I have a Typhlosion. I have a Lucario. I have Reshiram. I have Hyperior. I have um, Dragonite, of course. I don't always have Dragonite on my team. Yeah, I love Dragon types, so I would make an entire team of Dragon types. I also have a couple of Pokemon, like a shiny Groudon. I will put my black friend code if you're if you're willing to trade with me. Just uh, PM me for my friend code. You just gotta have a good Pokemon. I have like a lap. No, I have a Lapras on my team, which is a very bulky Pokemon, very good HP wise, and a very bulky Pokemon. Lapras is obviously one of my favorite Pokemon. A uh, favorite wa it's, I think it's my, one of my favorite water types since it since it learns some very good moves. So yeah, this episode is almost coming to an end here. I'm gonna end the episode here. This has been Insane Dragon Eye HT. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys in the episode. I hope you guys enjoy this commentary. Bye.